guys from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Are you living your best life? Who am I to ask you, are you living your best life? But it is a question. And I've talked to many, many different people doing my YouTube channel over the years. And I always ask the same questions to the people because I'm, I'm a people person. I want to know what makes people tick. And asking people about their lifestyle and how they're living it, are they happy or are they not? And in most cases, I've got to say, majority of people that I knock about with and that I talk to are quite happy and content with their lives. Is it different to what they used to be living in back in the United States or Australia or England? Oh, 100% different. Now, I live in Thailand, so I can only talk about how I feel about living in Thailand. So, after talking to numerous people, I'm gonna go through some lists of things that people find important. And let's start with life is what you make it. Now I've been hammered in my past with regard to divorces and bankruptcies, financial problems. And I've got to say now, I'm probably the most content that I've ever been. And I'm living on half the amount I used to earn when I used to live back in the UK 12 years ago. Yeah, half the amount of money that I used to earn in the UK. And I've got a much more happy and content lifestyle living here in Thailand compared to if I was living in the UK. And we could go into all sorts of things with regard to the food costs, the accommodation costs and things like that. Now I've done plenty of other videos with regard to how much it costs me to live here in Thailand. But I've got to turn around and say, say that's for another video. This one is about life is what you make it. If you want to struggle in your home country with the cost of everything going up and not making ends meet at, at the end of the month, well then, you've got to do something about it. And like I said at the beginning, life is what you make it. Maybe it's time to, for change. Maybe it's time for looking somewhere else. Maybe it's time to not think about climbing that ladder of success. Be happy with what you've got and stay around where you are. And these are a few things that we're going to talk about with regard to the all-round package with regard to life is what you make it. And health plays a big part. Stress plays a big part. Career or retirement. Now we'll concentrate on the retirement part of that as I'm already retired. And the finances and relationships and entertainment. So we'll start off with health. Now as I say I'm retired and I'm 61 years old and I want to live to a ripe old age and still have all my faculties and know what I'm doing and be happy with the state of my life. I don't want to be a cabbage where I'm just sat and doing nothing. So you've got to take care of your health. Now I don't drink a lot. I don't certainly don't smoke. I've never smoked in my life, but I'm a bit overweight. So now I'm doing the keto diet to, to lose a little bit of weight because being overweight, high is your blood pressure, gives you a chance of diabetes and things like that. So, although I don't do exercise, and I never have been an exercise person. I used to hate exercise, so therefore that's one thing that I'll never ever do. But in my mind, I don't drink and I don't smoke. So that's two things going for me in comparison to not doing any exercise. So I'll take that one on the chin as far as exercise is concerned, but live a healthy lifestyle, eat healthy food. It's up to you to take care of your own health. If you're overweight and you drink a lot and you smoke a lot, You've got a lot of things going against you when you're getting older as well, because things start to go wrong. So in your later life, retirement, take more care of your health and your well-being. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, if you've worked 40 years in your lifetime, you want to retire for another 40 years and enjoy them 40 years. Stress plays a big part in your happiness and your lifestyle. If you're stressed out with things, well, then you are going to have a hard time. I've been through the stressful times myself. Going through three divorces is stressful. Losing my businesses, losing my house. Going through bankruptcy was all very, very stressful. But I've got to say, in the past 12 years that I retired, I can't think of any stressful situations that I've ever had because I'm happy with my lot. I'm happy with the money that I've got. I know that every month there's a certain amount of money going to come in and it's guaranteed there every month. So, just live within your means. So I've got to say, probably the 
first time in all of my life I'm sort of stress-free. And this is the, the environment that you want to be living in, is a stress-free lifestyle. Living a stress-free lifestyle prolongs your life because then there's nothing to worry about. You've just got to get your head around living with less money and managing with what you have and actually taking note as I'm happy where I am. Now we saw the next section was career stroke retirement. Now again, I've been on the, the career ladder trying to advance and trying to please your superiors to try and get your promotion. And I sort of give up on that because it's just like, yeah, yeah, okay. I was happy where I was, always happy where I was. Now I got promoted at work, but I never progressed too much. I just went one rank up in the fire service and I was quite happy with that. I loved that position. And I had no plans of going even further because I knew I was going to retire at 50 years old anyway. But I wasn't interested because I wanted to retire at 50 and travel the world and do whatever I wanted to do. And that's what I did. I retired at 50 year old and I travel the world for two years. And now I live in Thailand and I've lived here now for 10 years. And I've loved every single minute of being retired. The things you can do, it's far, far better than working. Now finances is very, very, very important. Without finances, it just turns your whole world upside down. So I was lucky that when I retired, I got a private pension, so my money is guaranteed every month. I'm nowhere near on the amount of money that I was living on when I was living in the UK. At present, living here in Thailand, I'm on about 1,200 pounds a month, and I can live on that. And in the UK, I was on almost 3,000 pounds a month, and I struggled every month to pay all the bills, and pay everything that, that was due. 3,000 pounds a month, wow, I'd, I'd live like a king if I was on 3,000 pounds a month over here. I live in a beautiful house, beautiful area, five minutes away from a, a beachside location, a tropical island, 30 minutes away from where I live. I couldn't ask for anything more. Who could ask for anything more than that? We have enough money to live a good lifestyle as far as I'm concerned, and I'm happy with that because I'm content and I'm happy with the amount of money that we have is enough to live on, for sure. Relationships, relationships are very, very important. If you don't trust the person that you're living with, then that's gonna cause stress and it's gonna cause health issues. So this is what I'm saying, get your yin and your yang in balance. And if you're in a bad relationship, although it's gonna hurt, move to you find a better relationship at the end of the day. Relationships come and go, but why do people struggle living in a bad relationship? Now, I've been married four times and my relationships, it's like a switch. If it wasn't working, then I'd switch it off and I'd move on. Maybe that sounds a bit callous, but at the end of the day, if you're flogging a dead horse, it's not going to make any difference. So every action has a reaction and getting divorced and moving away from a relationship is gonna cause some pain. But is that pain worth not having to stay in a relationship that you don't don't like? Let's face it, at the end of the day, we're all getting old and we can all do without the stress and the hassle of a poor relationship. And I would sooner move on. I've had a couple of relationships here in Thailand and I've sort of seen the, the writing on the wall and I've jumped ship and I've said, listen, time to move on because it's not working. It's not what I want. Now, the girl that I'm with at present, we've been together for six years, and I've got to say, it's, it's a very, very happy six years. We clicked from the minute we both met, and we both just enjoyed life. My wife is non-demanding, non-materialistic. She, everything she wants is never too much. If she asks for anything, it's never, ever too much. The trust is there. We both trust each other 100%, and we sort of get on very, very, very well. The age difference is 27 years, but I still have a young outlook on life and I want to travel and go everywhere, and my wife is the same. If we say we're going to go on holiday tomorrow, she'll have the bags packed and ready and away we go tomorrow. Entertainment is the last subject, so entertainment in your life. You always need that something to do. Everybody needs to be entertained no matter what you do. And we bought this house, so this is my entertainment now. This house needs various bits and pieces to repair. I was always good at DIY. I was in the building industry. I was an electrician as well. So this is sort of my cup of tea and I love it. My wife loves the gardening. So 
between us both, we, we're doing various things to this house that we've just bought now, and we love it. But we still go on holidays, and the other day we had a trip to Patia, and the, the other month we had a, a trip to Kanchanterbury, bridge over the River Kwai. So life is for living, life is what you make it. If you want to sit in a bar all day and drinking and talking, and talking bad about everything in the world, well then go and do that, if that's your entertainment. It's up to you, life is what you make it. So please leave your comments down below if you've got any comments. Subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. So until my next video from Les, retired and living the dream, bye for now.